Good morning, everyone. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are going to go ahead and do the walkthrough on Wellgroom, which is Graphic 45's, one of Graphic 45's uh, most recent releases. So I'm going to start with the cover. So I, I just loved this part of the signature page. So I fussy cut all this out, and then I added, I layered uh, some additional cuts here and there, as well as tucked in some dimensional flowers. And you can see I used um, some of the die cuts here, here, this is a die cut. This is a piece of chipboard. There's a beautiful charm that Julie selected for this collection. If you buy it from us, you'll get charms as well as ribbon. Um, this is another die cut right here. And then I've got my um, corners uh, on the top left and, and lower right. Okay, that's the cover. Here's the side. So this is a nice piece of chipboard for the side. And then in the back, um, I did a couple of different um, patterns as well as added these two die cut pieces. And I, I like using the die cuts on the back because they're flat. So you don't add a lot of dimension to the back when you're using those. Okay, let's get started with the inside. Oh, and you guys are going to love my new mat because it's going to reduce glare as I'm going through these walkthroughs. Here's the inside left liner. And then let's start with page one. This is one of the ephemera cards that I actually flipped over and, and backed with cardstock. In this collection, I actually liked the back side of um, the ephemera cards more than I liked the front side. So I, I featured a lot of the front sides. And these can be used to, to place small photos or you can do some journaling here. Okay, this opens to the left. And then this opens to the right and you have a lot of large photo space. So you can do a collage here or you could feature a five by seven or a seven by nine, which is kind of a unique size, but you could definitely feature a large photo there. I did um, decide to use inserts in this. I wasn't sure I was gonna have enough paper, but I did and I was able to put a one and a half inch strip on either side. You could cover the whole thing, but you would do a lot of color blocking to achieve that. And I was more in a hurry to get some new content out to you guys. Okay, here's page two. It opens to the left and right. And then right here, this is what I'm calling a belly band slash pocket because it's closed in the center. It's not a complete pass through. And then I added these two ephemera cards as inserts. So you could feature a photo here, photos here. Uh, stash photos in the pockets and then of course you've got your journaling cards and then this is page three which is really simple and page three is simple um, on purpose because page four and five are not <laughs> and they're actually quite heavy so this I just card uh, stock backed one of the ephemera cards and I just extended it and I just happened to have this scrap piece left over and what I was going for was I wanted once it was in the pocket um, for the the, the uh, designer paper to tuck into the pocket and then have this be centered on the page just like so so I just measured it out that way and now uh, I can tell you what it is but you'll want to measure it just based on your own pocket and it turned out to be seven and a half seven and a half by just a little a little over six inches for the ephemera card okay this also has a nice pocket insert for the page and then here's page four and five and as usual I mirror the images so I'm going to go over one side and then the other because it folds out and it actually takes up quite a bit of space so we'll start with page four I'm going to center that better so we have a graphic 45 car uh, designer paper backed tag this is the graphic 45 black regular tag this is um, some of the ribbon that we give you if you buy the collection from us this is one of the small um, cut aparts on the 12 by 12 collection okay this opens to the left and let me go back over this and tell you these are four and a half so you could easily feature um, four by fours or four by six here okay same on this side it closes and it opens and opens again and again these are suitable for four by fours four by six and then it opens one more time like so so you have this nice seven by nine photo mat here and you have a five by seven photo mat here and then you have just a ton of, of space right here Okay, so we close this 
this holds the flap in place and this closes and this closes okay so there's magnets on both sides to hold this all intact it's just i'm going to show you this real quick it's the same i i repeated the patterns on this side it opens like so there you go i think this is kind of a fun feature it's interesting um I like to do different things once in a while and this is fun and because these two have so much going on it took a, a lot of paper which made me um, go to a more simple design on some of the other pages pull this back into the center okay then another photo mat here okay here we are on page six and I did the same thing I extended this photo mat so that um, when you tuck it in, it's featuring um, this ephemera card. Okay, this is from the twelve by twelve. This is uh, from the, a cut apart on the twelve by twelve collection. Okay, and then I've got these two inserts in the pocket. I like this. Um, I've done this before. I think I did it in. Um, oh gosh, it's a smaller. I think it was a six by eight or six and a half by eight and a half. And it escapes me, but I've done that feature before, but not in this large of a format. Okay. And then here is page eight. And then I, I just repeated the design from the front to the back. Now I glued this completely down, but if you just tack it down on either end, you could make this a belly band as well. Okay, that is Graphic 45, well-groomed. This is 10 and a half by eight and a half by two and a half inches deep. It has four pocket pages. If you're interested in building this album yourself, go to the description. The first thing you're gonna see is the material list followed by the cut list. And um, if you search through the playlist and look for well-groomed, it will show you all of the tutorials to build one of these yourself. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create.